Hi there. Uh, so my name is Diana. If you've never been to my channel, welcome. Uh, today I have a flip through of the Passion Planner Medium, and that is in the size of 6.9 by 9.8. There's two other sizes um, in the Passion Planner series. There's the large, which is the 8.3 by 11.7, and I already have a video up for that on my channel, so there will be a link in the description. And their other size is the small, which is the 5.8 by 8.3. I did them, I did the flip throughs in the order of large, small, medium, because that's the, that's in the uh, sequence of when I was using these planners. So like I first had the large, then I had the small, and now, um, well, this was my third planner. I'm in a different planner. Um, so the links for that will be down below. Also, if you want a comparison video of like the sizes, size differences and whatnot, uh, let me know in the comments below. This one particularly fits in my mini backpack. So I really uh, love the medium size. It's not as big as large, but it's not as small as the small. And so it has perfect enough room to write in if you have a lot going on. Um, but also like, I can fit it in my uh, tiny little backpack that I take everywhere with me and it's good to go if I really need it with me. Um, so this is the academic medium in the color Elite Black. Um, it was technically a 2018 academic Sunday start planner, um, but since I got it as a gift in 2018, I was already in the rose gold small, um, I started using it in August 2019, and I redated it for 2019 and Monday start. Um, so with the academic planner, you will see that it's month followed by the respective weeks. And as I mentioned in some of my previous videos, I cover up the beginning pages because they don't work for me and I do something else. Um, so here we have a vision board and whatnot. Um, but so yeah, I decided with this planner to take up on the challenge of creating my own stickers. And <laughs> it was a very humbling experience because I ended up realizing uh, how much of a taxing job it is to make stickers. So like these are some of my first beginning stickers and you can kind of see that like they don't quite fit and whatnot. So it's a really long process to like figure out and make sure they are quality worth it and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so it gave me a lot of like humbleness and respect towards people who do, um, do do this for as like a business on Etsy and whatnot. Um, so the purpose of this planner in particular, compared to the, my other planners, like the large was for um, my education, which was finishing up my bachelor's degree, which I did an accelerated version, and for my internship and work job or whatever time or whatever, my small was a mess. Just, I was going through a mess. Um, and this one was to help me navigate further through my mess, which was like my identity crisis, feeling depleted after college, just kind of like questioning life. Like life is really not linear after college. Um, even so, like I dropped out of college originally when I was 19 and I didn't go back for like five years. Like even still like going through like two years of having something so linear and then having something that it's it, it really takes a minute to shift out of that comfort zone and that like mindset or whatnot. Plus I was just exhausted. <laughs> I was not sane after that accelerated degree. Uh, let's just say that. Um, but 2019 was just one of my bad years. Honestly, I think 2020 by far is much better than what I dealt with in 2019. Uh, and that's a lot coming from how 2020 has been so far. Um, but yeah, so like these are also, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, 
uh, stickers I made. There we go. Um, but you can see now, like after some time and whatnot, I finally got the hang of making them fit. And it was pretty easy to redate them in the beginning because since it was 2018, it just, you know, and they were Sunday starts. So like Monday, Tuesday, and like I really didn't have to change the numbers. But then I realized in 2020, uh, leap year happened. So I ended up making, you'll see in the future, um, spreads that have like little tiny boxes to redate, like the calendar and the week slide. And I think I mentioned this before, like, definitely mentioned this before. Um, even though a planner is a solid structure, planning should be fluid. And my spreads change up from week to week, depending on what I need in that moment. Uh, just a side note, I am a passion planner ambassador. So if you use my code Diana 10 at checkout, you will be getting 10% uh, off your order uh, that works site wide. And I would really appreciate it if you did check it out. Um, if you're not ready to buy something, Passion Planner does offer all their planners for free download online. Um, they also have a bunch of inserts and uh, bullet journal spreads and trackers that you can download for free too. So, you know, there's gonna be a link down below uh, for the Passion Planner website. Uh, definitely check it out. I mean, I've been with Passion Planner for four years now. Well, four. I'm on, my, I'm on my fourth planner. And like over time you learn what works for you and what, what, what doesn't. So like the reflections that Passion Planner usually has for their month, the end of the month, they don't work for me. So I do the whole like scrapbooking thing. Like I'm a visual person. And like the trackers I made down here. Actually, thankfully, um, I started to not bite my nails in January of 2020, and it is now November 2020, and I haven't bit since, and I'm really, really proud of myself, because I used to bite them so, so, so bad, and now, like, it's my worst nightmare. Um, again, I work, um, what is this called? I... I incorporate my One Little Word workshop by Allie Edwards into my planner. So basically that's uh, choosing a word for the year and uh, Allie has activities that differ from month to month to uh, focus on our word. There we go. Whew, that's a winded one. It's a definitely fun workshop. It doesn't it cost a lot either and it, I get so much like value from it so it's only like about $28 when you first sign up like in December I think and like you just get so much from um that workshop like because it's a full year and you get an awesome community with it too and like a lot of the people who are in the community they are like moms or they're older I'm like one of the few people that is young single doesn't have a kid um, so yeah, this is actually, this was, um, kind of like the mid-year roadmap and I covered up with this like dual, two different scrapbook papers and whatnot. I really liked how it looked. And as I said, this was a planner focusing on navigating my identity crisis. Like I, I completely lost my sense of self. I was nothing like I am now. Like I was, um, I was shy. I was quiet. I was timid and I'm not that kind of person. I'm unconfident person usually but like I just I was so depleted I was I was being used so much that like it kept like draining me out so like I created this sp a spread called my would-be self and I had uh this anime character com commission for me so I felt it was um appropriate to put her in here and uh you know I really wanted to be seen as like a magical girl warrior so that's why I put that in here and like, I just really wanted to like focus on the parts of myself that uh, I admired in my past, my current self that I admired and putting them all together and how, like how to shape the person to become back to where I was, back to where I was at, but also leveled up and um, continue on this journey of becoming who I am, who I want to be kind of a thing. Um, to me, success isn't your like, cookie cutter um definition where you 
finish college and get a car and get married and have kids. To me, success is figuring out who you are and what you want. Like, I, I know that sounds so simple, but like there's people in their 40s and 50s that have honestly no identity, no sense of self, no happiness, no gratitude. They don't know who they are, that kind of a thing. They have no confidence. They care about reputation too much. And I'm just like, oh my God. But yeah, so getting back to myself was literally something that happened in 2020. And that's why I just feel like 2020 is a much better year compared to um, the crap I dealt with on the latter half of 2018 and then 2019 as a whole. And I am going to be launching an Etsy shop um, first with like digital products and eventually um, I will be making physical stickers like you see here and stuff like that. Um, but first it's going to be digital products just because of um, I had some issues with uh, the previous cutting machine I had. And I actually have um, a review about, um, I will have a review about the cutting source I was using and also how to make your own planner stickers that will be launched December hold on December 28th at 10 a.m. on my website dreamlikediana.com um, if you want to check that out now I have a bunch of freebies that you can download for your planner and that's usually like bullet journal spreads and trackers and stuff like that that you can put in the back pages of your planner so I'd That'd really mean a lot to me if you ch would check out my website also. Okay. And sometimes I do this thing where I use two different scrapbook papers, pages, pages, scrapbook pages than um than just one. And like my word for 2020 was Phoenix and um I think the word that I'm going to choose for 2021 is uh shift. Also, I am going to put a link to Ali Edwards um one little word workshop. Don't worry, this isn't sponsored at all. I thought with um, Ali or Ad Ali Edwards whatsoever, I just really believe in her workshop. Um, so definitely if you like something like that where you want to focus on a word or like don't really get much um, out of your New Year's resolutions and whatnot, I would definitely recommend you to check out her workshop because it's been such a game changer for me. And this is um, an acrylic pour that I try to do because uh, this was actually during the lockdown and I couldn't make my way to Michael's to get scrapbook paper because they were still not open for um, business. So like I just had to um, think creat creatively and come up with something else. And like this again, this wasn't um, this wasn't washi tape. This was a paper bag. I think I'm just going to leave this in here. My bad. But yeah, so as I mentioned, like I had to do these like little squares to redate um, the days because leap year happened. And I also have these like little tabs that like now say instead of like whatever it was, July 5th or I don't know. I don't remember. But like, yeah, you get the gist of what I'm trying to say.
And then the only like reflection that I really, really like in the passion planner that I do keep is the end of the year reflection. I felt like this was really great for me to look back on um, the end of my planner from August 2019 to July 2020. It made such a difference and I definitely feel like I'm going to keep up with it. It's something I like took pictures of and I put like made it like my favorites in my phone so I can look back on it often on what I said. I actually took this yeah, I took this planner with me to Poland. Um I went with a uh, my tr uh, I went with my dad. We took a trip. My dad hasn't been back in like 10 years. I go back every so often and um it was okay. Honestly, I it wasn't what I w it was supposed to be. Because I made plans to do a solo travel and like my relatives over there, man, they were like caging me in. It was ridiculous. So next time when I go back, I am renting a car and being like, fuck y'all motherfuckers. Peace out. You're a trip, baby. And this is just stuff that was for my study abroad scholarship, but that all got canceled. So yay. Not. I never finished the back pages. Um, I'm actually close to being done my back pages in my current planner. But yeah, that's about it, and I'm just not going to go through my folder this time. So, I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, um, comment, like, subscribe. I get it if you won't, but it would mean a lot to me. Oh my god, it's not... If you do, sorry, it's like twisting. Why won't it... Okay, there it goes. There it goes. Sorry, I'm peevy like that. So yeah, thank you. Is it even? Is it in the middle?